guys it's Alex today we will talk about what to do when your African violet plants start blooming okay just a few weeks ago you had this beautiful plant full of blooms and you just could not stop looking at it and just admiring it it was so gorgeous but today you look at the plant and the flowers are gone they're wilting they're drying out they're dying and the plant is not as attractive as before and you start thinking, wow, what's happening? Did I do something wrong? What do I do now? Don't worry. It's not something that you have or haven't done. It's just normal process. It's just something that happens in nature and it's fine. Now, what do we do? Is there something we should be doing to encourage further blooming? I must warn you, it's not gonna happen overnight. But there are some things we can do to help the plant to bloom again in the near future. We need to remove old flowers together with flower stalks. You can see that the flower stalk is coming somewhere from between the leaves. So to remove it accurately without damaging anything, you just pull away and it should come off. Just like this. That's one. Another one, just gently pull and it should come off. There we go. See, we don't need them anymore. They're not even nice anymore. Okay, so then we repeat for all the, uh, all the other ones. And even the ones that are not fully finished blooming, I suggest that you remove them now. Uh, if some are not coming off very easily, you just pull them a little bit gently aside and they will still come. There we go. Okay, and a little bit here. Right, okay. Let's have a look. It already looks it already looks better, doesn't it? Yes, at least the idea. Not so sad anymore. We need to inspect what is happening with the roots. You may have different setups, you may have uh, the plant put directly into the uh, um, decorative pot, which is a little bit of a concern on its own, um, but that's a different story and we will talk about it in another video. Or you may have uh, them put it in a plastic pot or maybe in self-watering setup. Whatever it is, I suggest that we do look at what is going on Okay, so I have removed my plant out of this decorative pot. So what are we looking for when we inspect the roots area? Well, we are looking for any signs of deterioration of soil, such as uh, mold, uh, maybe insects that we don't want to see in the soil. Um, and second thing, we're just looking whether our roots still have room or whether we need to pot our plant. In this case, you can see that we don't have any roots sticking out. We don't have anything suspicious. Everything looks absolutely fine. So in this case, I don't need to report my plant. It can be left as is. If after the inspection, you're not happy with the condition of soil or roots, you need to consider reporting or upporting your plant. Move your plant to the brightest position in your house. African violets are high light plants. They do need very bright light or even a few hours of direct sun to grow well and to bloom. You need to start actively fertilizing your plant. Your plant will need additional energy and supplements to support the active growth and development of flower buds. Any fertilizer that you use is okay. 
you can use commercial fertilizer or maybe you do your own fertilizer it doesn't matter as long as you feed your plant and help it it will thank you back thank you for watching if you like this video please like and consider sharing with your friends and if you're a plant lover please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one